Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. And I was asked a question by a supporter and patron, Glenn Martin, in Zero QFT, who's often on our Thursday evening uh, live stream. Um, Glenn asked a question in response to the video about the vibroplex paddle okay he has been using a straight key for many years and he is saying he's having trouble with arthritis with that so what i'm going to do is show your basic three key types i don't have a cootie uh, but they're kind of rare this is the original uh, key um, and this is a J J38, but it's very similar to a J38. This right here is the Vibroplex key, okay? And this right here is a Venture Paddle. Now there are more ex inexpensive versions of these, but this right here, you pretty much need to go get the Vibroplex or get something that's antique. I'm gonna just show a little bit about each three of them. I've got my radio right here all set up uh, attached to a dummy load. Okay, so we'll hear the keying in the background. And that's what happens when you press this key. This is a straight key. It is attacked by putting your elbow on the table and resting your forearm on the table, lifting up a little bit here, okay? You do not tap from here. You tap from back here. Now, this key has many adjustments. One of the adjustments is the side-to-side -side adjustment right here, which you can also do in a J38. If you allow this to go side-to-side, -side, it will help reduce the problem with the stiff arm. Okay, now this up and down motion, if you make it from your wrist, you're going to have repetitive strain injury in there before you know it. You want it to come from back here with the wrist quite flexible. Okay, now this is a shorting bar that you can use for tuning the radio, but if it bothers you too much, you can just take it off. Okay, now I'm going to switch to this kind of key right here. The keying action is done in here. Now note, the key difference is that this is a side-to-side -side motion, okay, a side-to-side -side motion as opposed to an up-and-down motion. Very different on the arm, much more relaxing. If you push this key this way, it'll give you DAWs or a long DAW. You have to make each of your DAWs individually. Now, your DITs can come out. See how this part over here vibrates? And it makes those DITs. And it's very, very well balanced to make DITs of equal length until it gets about there okay so if I wanted to send my call sign and be whoops I don't really know how to use this key so you got to do it Now, again, you see that the timing of the dits, and I've got the pendulum almost all the way out. There is a little attachment for this that provides a weight over here and can make the thing slow down a little further. But these dits are about 20 words a minute. So this is for somebody who it's sometimes called a speed key for exactly that region reason. Now I'm going to show you the third type of key. Okay, now this one is a paddle set. There's two individual paddles. It's like two individual keys. And 
to use this properly, you need what's called a keyer. Now, all modern radios have keyers built into them. So let's set this up. We're going to go to um, keyer. Okay. And we're going to turn the keyer on. Okay. CW key set. We're going to use key type uh, paddle. Okay, and we'll go back, maybe it from there. Okay, now we're going to use this. Now note when I press this like this, it sends dits. Now those are quite a bit shorter than the dits from the speed key because I have them set shorter. And if you go with the dits, these are, these are a little bit longer than the other, but still pretty good. So if you hold the two paddles together, you get what's called an iambic keying pattern. Da-da, 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 da-da. It's like iambic poetry. So that's why it's called that. Now, you don't have to use a double key paddle with this but it's a lot easier so watch here I'm gonna send a K watch very carefully what I'm doing I'm holding this and I push this and it interjects a dot so oops Okay, that's a little bit on the random side, but now in the key function here, and it's set CW straight key paddle, set the polarity which is normal. Okay, and um, you can set the speed where. Push the multi knob, go down one. That's that key speed. 16 words a minute. You set your key speed here. And that will tell you how fast. Okay. So, of the three keys, the one I prefer is the paddles. Okay? Because I can send nice, beautiful code. Now, if you look at my code here, see, everything is perfectly spaced. Whereas if I send it with the straight key, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to have to change the menu here. Straight key. Yeah, you've got to tell us now it's a straight key. Okay, now, this is the problem with this. You'll note that the sending is not even. Okay. So, um, a lot of people learn on this key. Most people graduate to this. This is for the old timers who've known it for a long time or who just want to learn something new and different. Okay, that works for them too. So, one, two, three. This one right here is the hardest on the hand. It has to be sent correctly from here, otherwise you will get issues. This is side to side. You can do it down here, you can do it up here. You could even do it up here. 
This one is designed just for side-to-side -side usage. Notice how little movement there is in the arm. Now you are moving from the elbow, okay. You don't want to try twisting too much because you can get a repetitive strain injury there too, like from using a screwdriver or something like that. Okay, so there you go. So there you go. You have a chance to see three different types of keys in action. Uh, the straight key is the one most people start with. The straight key sentry club, which is a club for people using non-electronic keyers, can use either the straight key or the bug, which is the one in the middle that had the uh, pendulum built in. A lot of people use the electronic keyers simply because they're accurate. They can be fast or slow, depending on what you want to do. And you can have a good time with any of them. My personal preference is the iambic battle, but I do use the straight key a lot because my speed is down a little bit right now. And I'd like to use the SKCC frequencies. So there you have it. It's just a a little bit of trying different things, seeing what's working for you. Using a straight key can result in repetitive stress injury, and it's hard to retrain yourself once you find yourself getting into some bad habits with that. So there you have it. Please, in the next couple slides, take a look. There's ways to get in touch with me. Uh, the way that Glenn got in touch with me was through a comment on one of the videos. And uh, there are other ways, including email, snail mail, and so on. And some charts coming, thanking the patrons and all the others who have contributed to this channel and help it be a success. If you'd like to add your name to that, you can go to patreon.com slash ke0og. Until we next meet, 73.